Welcome back to Craft Computing. As always, I'm Jeff. Back in August of last year, I reviewed the Velocifier TKL01, an entry-level USB mechanical keyboard with a teal blue backlight and Otemo brown switches. I've since been using the keyboard extensively, and it's been living here on my streaming PC for about the last six months. But when my daily driver K70 decided to drown itself in stout, I went exploring for a wireless mechanical keyboard with a brown switch, just to see what was out there. And what I found was Velocifier is now making the K61WS, and at $40 US, it was a no-brainer to at least give it a shot. To start off, this is a very small footprint board with just 61 keys. The typeface on the double shot ABS caps is very crisp and easy to read. Although Velocifier did include a WASD replacement set of caps in a Commissioner Gordon's phone red, and there's no letters printed on them. They look a bit gaudy for my taste, especially given the straight cut look with the rest of this board. Long term, I'll likely be sticking with the black caps that came on here. Although one of them might look kind of cool on the escape key, what do you think? Yes. Sticking with the look and feel of this board, construction-wise, it is on point. There is zero, and I mean zero, deck flex or wobble here. The four rubber feet provide plenty of grip to keep the KB61WS from sliding across my desk, even if I may be a bit of a heavy-handed typist. Also present on the bottom is a handy cutout to hold the wireless USB dongle and a power switch, which you shouldn't need given the advertised 1080 hours of battery life. Charging is handled by your choice of two micro USB ports around the back. This is nice for those who want as much cable management on their desk as they do in their cases. Missing from the underside of the keyboard is any kind of incline adjustment. Now, for me, the angle was just fine, but the board could have been made a bit more comfortable if it was just a few millimeters slimmer. But in all honesty, it's not that bad. Besides, my wrists shouldn't be resting on the desk when I'm typing anyway. If you've never used a keyboard of this size before, it can be a bit unusual at first. A number of your common keyboard functions are doubled up to save space. The function buttons, for example, that's your F1 through F12, share keys with your number row on top. The arrow keys are also nestled directly to the right of the spacebar and are doubled with your Windows Control and Alt buttons. For a very compact layout, the keyboard is very usable, but I did find myself struggling a bit with some more common keyboard commands being a bit more difficult to pull off. For the overall typeability on this keyboard, it is fantastic. As far as your standard alphabet, punctuation, and number keys go, everything is in your standard US layout position. And for me, there was no transition from taking this out of the box to typing up this review with it. Subjectively, the key action is very precise. The keycaps fit very well onto the Cherry MX compatible stems with minimal play with your fingers resting on top of them. I felt the Atomo Brown switches themselves felt slightly stiffer than the Cherry MX Browns they're replicating, if with slightly less of a tactile bump when the key is actually pressed. Honestly, the feel of this keyboard is superb, and once you're used to the layout of your function keys, this should serve you quite well. I did try my hand at some gaming on the Velocifier Wireless, and felt it very comfortable with no noticeable latency issues. Though to be fair, at this time I have no accurate way to test the input to action latency. So what do you guys think about using this keyboard as a daily driver? I know I'm going to be moving it over to my streaming PC for podcasting duty from now on, especially given the success I had with the first keyboard of theirs that I purchased. And with a rated 50 million clicks before failure on the switches, I anticipate getting plenty of use out of this one as well. Just like I'm going to get plenty of use out of the Dollar Shave Club Essential Starter Set they were so kind to send my way. Now, if you're like me, you stumble out of bed in the morning, adjust your eyes to the light, pick out your shower beer. Look, the point is, we all have our own everyday grooming routines. Well, I bet you didn't know that Dollar Shave Club has all your grooming product essentials, not just razors. Things like toothpaste, body wash, hairstyling products, and really everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best. Now, I've switched back and forth from cartridge razors and electrics over the years, but electrics don't get nearly close enough, and razors usually leave my skin feeling a bit too irritated. I am a big fan of the Dr. Carver Shave Butter. It provides a very smooth shave, but the kicker for me is it's clear, making precise lines effortless. My chin hasn't seen daylight since I was 19, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Right now, Dollar Shave Club is practically giving away their daily essential starter set to new members for only $5 with free shipping. The starter set includes three trial size versions of their most popular products that help you stay fresh and clean. In your first box, you'll receive their shave butter, again, huge fan, body wash, and their One Wipe Charlie's Butt Wipes. You'll also receive their Executive Razor, which includes their premium weighty handle and full cassette of cartridges. After the first box, replacement cartridges are sent for only a few bucks a month. This $5 offer is available at dollarshaveclub.com slash craftcomputing. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash craftcomputing. Or check the link down in the video description. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at craftcomputing. 
Also, make sure you're tuning into my Talking Heads live show every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific for the latest in tech and beer news. And if you want to financially support this channel, consider hitting me up on Patreon. You'll get access to my exclusive Discord server where you can chat with myself and the rest of the hosts from Talking Heads. Get sneak peeks of upcoming videos, ask questions, share your builds, or just hang out. Thank you everyone for watching. Lots of awesome content coming up very shortly on this channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Cheers all. Wow, that is good.